Assalamu alaikum. Mr. Moderator, our distinguished guests, brothers and sisters, our friends and, and our enemies. Bismillah wa salam wa salam wa salam wa salam wa salam wa salam wa Peace and blessings of Allah be upon his last and final message as as follows. Uh, family, I further sent me this tweet from a person named Humbly Regiment. Okay, he's got 2,237 followers on his Twitter handle. I don't know if that's good or not because I don't use Twitter. I mean, I'm on Twitter, but I don't actually use it. Right, but however, the tweet that he sent me in question was this tweet over here, and as you can see, it is uh, Sheikh Abu Toga, and he writes, the Hembley Regiment, he writes, Everyone should, everybody should drop this Sheikh now. The guy flat out came out and said, we just halal. And this is the point we want to point, uh, point out here, that he is saying, this Hembley Regiment person said, that the guy, Abu Toga, is flat out saying that weed is halal, billah, like the shock, you know, the horror, billah, right? This is what happens when you're affiliated with Omar Suleiman and Yasser Qadi, I guess. Okay? So we're going to look at the content of what the Sheikh actually said. Sheikh, is weed halal? Alhamdulillah. It used to be thought that weed was a narcotic with no benefit. I no longer adhere to the idea that weed is no good. I hold that weed has benefit for the people who need it, and those people who need it can get doctor's advice to use it. It's now legal in, it's now legal in the United States, so the person has to see for themselves whether they should use it or not. Words no longer have any meaning for this new social media generation coming. It's all this stuff. So if you don't like somebody, the name of the game is Spin and the Enemy of My Enemy. Did anyone hear Abu Toba say that weed is halal? Where my homies at? Let's start smoking. Like this person is suggesting. Or did Abu Toba clearly define a medical exception for smoking? It? If he said what the person was suggesting, then it would be no problem. Okay, Abu Toba said to smoke weed, we would have no issues with it. But it's very obvious that he didn't. Even if you look in Islamic history, even caffeine for some time was considered haram by the ulama until it wasn't. We all know, for example, opium is haram, correct? And every single opiate in existence is a derivative of opium. So now I'm going to say your grandma's Tylenol 3s are haram so she can't take them after her knee surgery. Like these types are intentionally looking for the dirt instead of having husnul done. And they spread it without any fear whatsoever all the time hiding behind ambiguous social media handles like, I don't know, uh, the Hembley Regime. And this is why I truly can't stand social media, because backbiting and spreading lies is now the new advising and spreading the hot. If you don't like somebody, just don't like them. It's no problem not to like anybody. But where you should have, you should draw the line if you are a self-respecting Muslim is lying. Lying. And what we have is this culture of people spreading lies and calling it the truth. And when you call them out on it, everybody looking at you like you're crazy. And let me tell you something. I never smoked weed in my entire life. But if I get glaucoma and the doctor prescribes that I smoke marijuana to cure it, guess what I'm doing? Paper gold. You see, black folks are chumps. If America were to tell you to bring all the rocks in this country to her, and she'll give you a million dollars for it. You'll do it. And the next day she'll tell you, we're using rocks for currencies, chump. 